Gary Hinnerberg here, co-author of Online Video Marketing Deep Dive. And in today's presentation, we give you the wrap-up of our test of short video clips that were used to promote shows for a performing arts organization. You may recall that we assured you early on that we'd let you know if it was a success or if it was a bust. So let's get right into the results. You may recall that this test was inspired several weeks ago by Twitter's release of Vine, a social media platform where six-second video clips are posted. We decided to test this short video format in a Name That Tune contest test to see if we would move the needle on ticket sales. During the past several weeks, we've shared with you a few twists and turns in the road. Learning number one was that six seconds simply isn't long enough to produce what we consider for our purposes to be a meaningful video. As a result, we adapted the format of the five short video clips to a length of 18 to 38 seconds each. Learning number two was that if we wanted to use promoted posts on Facebook, we had to have a thumbnail image with less than 20% of text. That required using Vimeo over YouTube because YouTube only allows custom thumbnails if you choose monetization of your videos. Well, we tried that and we determined that it was distracting from our message. Learning number three was that the engagement is different based on three different styles of videos we have used. Our longer form music videos resulted in the highest percentage of likes, comments, and shares. The short video clips had about half the level of engagement, suggesting that at least for this organization, short video isn't enough to sustain ongoing interest. Regarding the short video clip format test, my conclusion is this. I'm glad we did it. The test certainly didn't hurt us. But I'm not convinced that short videos push sales and I don't know that I would do it again. And here's why. In our video format mix for the show, we also produced a behind the curtain video. It was four and a half minutes and it featured a preview of the show along with interviews with a director, song arranger and soloist and several seconds of soundtracks of a few new songs. That video, like those we have used for past shows, resulted in double the views over the short video clips. Other metrics you may be interested in knowing about is how our emailed patrons responded to a series of weekly messages. The first five emails featuring the short video clips had strong open rates initially with a gradual decline after five weeks. Click-through rates gradually declined as well, suggesting that interest waned with the short video clips. But behind the curtain video email that was sent a week after the short video clip contest had ended experienced a click-through rate that was about 50% higher than emails featuring a short video. This suggests that once the patrons saw that the video was a behind the curtain format and wasn't any more of the short video clips, their interest was renewed and they watched the longer form video. So what does this tell us? Our fans like longer videos with more meaty content. That's what gets our emails opened and clicks to our landing page and generates the best engagement on social media. And that's how we'll promote the next performances. Because of deadlines for producing this video, I can't tell you the exact ticket sales performance except to say that it's trending at about the same rate as a year ago. And unfortunately, because we couldn't confidently A-B split test, we won't know the impact short videos had on ticket sales. But we know that video works for this organization, as evidenced by the 20% increase in ticket sales last Christmas and the fact that we experienced this level of sales increase in light of all radio advertising having been canceled. We're committed to video as the central delivery vehicle for promoting this organization's performances. Finally, the reality in marketing is this. You must dig into the numbers and analyze results every step along the way, and you must test new approaches. You won't always hit a home run, but sometimes you have to venture out of your comfort zone to discover what could be the next big marketing opportunity for you. Well, that's all for today. On behalf of Perry Alexander, my co-author, thank you for watching Online Video Marketing Deep Dive.